Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a fabulous Wednesday. Welcome to Handbag of the Week, the one day a week where we highlight a bag and have a mini discussion about it. This week, let's talk the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 Bandolier. The 25 Bandolier is available in a few different canvas prints and they currently have a special edition available, but in the past they used to have it available in the Emprunt leather as well as the Epi leather, and those are currently only found on the pre-love market. And this bag is one of the most popular handbags that the fashion house has. And it is one of my personal favorites. I never thought I would say that you guys know if you've been watching my channel for a while because for the longest time I kind of wanted to stay away from this bag you know I was like it's not for me it's not for me I am a die hard classic speedy type of person uh, so when this beauty came about I was like nope not gonna like it not for me not for me but the more research I did the more and more I talked about it the more it kind of started to to kind of grow on me and I have to give it credit where credit is due and I have eaten my words when it comes to this bag because you get the best of both worlds the fact that you still have that classic silhouette that you can use it as a classic bag, but the fact that it also comes with a removable, adjustable strap makes it so incredibly versatile. And you guys know how I feel about versatility. You know, so the fact that you can use this as a crossbody bag, you can use it as a shoulder bag, you can make it a little bit shorter, a little bit longer. I think that it is awesome. So um, like I said before, I will eat my words every single time when it comes to this bag. Uh, and one of the things that I also uh, really appreciate about it is the fact that you are able to go hands-free because of that versatility. And being able to be hands-free with one of your favorite handbags is so incredibly liberating. Whether you're out shopping or whether you're running errands, whether you're out with your kiddos, the fact that you have both hands readily available I think is absolutely fantastic. Uh, now don't let the size fool you. Even though this is the 25, you can still pack a punch in here because of the silhouette that the Speedy has. And if you want a little bit more organization because it really doesn't have too much, it just has the zipper pocket. Uh, that's also changed throughout the years. Mine's currently stuffed. Uh, but you can end up using a purse organizer so that way you can find your items um, a lot faster and you can also get rid of the, the Speedy sag that a lot of people aren't, uh, aren't too fond of. Personally, I like it. Um, now I do have one gripe about this bag and that's the fact that it has different colored hardware. On the bag here, you have the matte, uh, the matte gold hardware, right? The champagne gold hardware. But on the strap, you have two different types. You have the shiny brass right there. And then on the buckles, you have uh, the same type of matte uh, hardware that the bag has. Now, I've talked to a few different sales associates, and some of them have said that um, they changed the, the hardware on certain aspects of the bag, so that way it's a little bit more hard-wearing. Other sales associates have said, no, it's all supposed to be one, you know, one color. So who knows? But if that is the case, that it's supposed to be a little bit more hard-wearing, I am all for that, you know, because if the bag can end up lasting me a lot longer, then I think that's awesome. But it would have been really nice if they would have made all of the hardware one, you know, one type of color or whatever. Now, I will say that out of all three canvas prints, I personally like the monogram one a little bit more just because I find it to be that much more comfortable versus the Damia Ben. The Damia Ben is great because it is very, very carefree because you do have that color treated leather. But personally, when I go to use it as a crossbody bag, I felt that it ended up digging into my uh, my chest a little bit more than I would like. And I do like the Damia Zor, but because of, um, you know, the dark colored clothing that I wear and I do wear a lot of denim and because I do like to wear this bag cross body I know that I would personally end up experiencing quite a bit of color transfer. I think that this bag is wonderful and uh, I would love to hear your guys' opinions on this bag. If you have it, do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you a die hard classic speedy person like I was as well? And then you kind of change your opinion when it came to the bandolier. Let me know in the comment section down below. And remember, when it comes to the handbag of the week videos, it's just giving a little bit more information, especially if people are doing research on said bag. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red button down below and hitting that bell so you're notified when I upload videos, which is anywhere from two to three times a week. And let me know which bag we should highlight next week. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not, the choice is yours. Have a great day.